Hey guys, it's Will. I wanted to show you how you can do some cool education videos or whenever you're talking to your viewers on YouTube, you can have yourself available on webcam here. And I'm using a program called ScreenFlow and that is for um, for the Mac. I'll put a link in the description below. And there's also Camtasia. So I'll put the links in the description below the video. You guys can check that out. But the nice thing is when you're, I, I do things where I want to show a video and instead of trying to export the video and then adding yourself and, and sort of doing all that editing, you can just scroll down and do things on the desktop and have people see that. You can even play a video. It's, it's got a really fast uh, capture rate. And then down in this corner, if you want, you don't have to, you can just have your audio, but you can also have yourself on video. And that, that makes it a, kind of a personal connection. You'll notice that there's a green background there. I have the option to turn on uh, a chroma key green screen so that I could actually make that disappear and it would look like I'm kind of over top of the video without any background. Um, I don't always do that because I just want to, you know, use a green so people don't, you know, you don't have to get distracted by stuff that's behind me. But this is a great way to educate people. You could be scrolling through a blog post. You could be demoing something, software. You could be watching a video. There's so many things that you could demonstrate on your desktop. And I think, and then having yourself on video is a great way to, for people to see you. And uh, I really think social media is about pe people getting to know you and seeing you. So I think this is a great, um, a great way to, to, to do some of your videos. You can have videos where you're just sitting there talking, you know, as well. But if you want to demonstrate anything or show anything, this is a really great way to do that. I've also used ScreenFlow when my, with my interviews with Dr. McDougall. So I was able to, or in other doc, people that I've interviewed. And so when I'm interviewing somebody, I'm actually capturing my desktop with Skype on it. So I'm, I'm capturing the whole desktop. And on that desktop is Skype with the person I'm talking to and then myself in the corner. So that's how I record Skype. If you guys ever want to do interviews with anybody, you can use ScreenFlow to record the desktop, and that works great. So, and then if you have uh, Windows or even a Mac, there's there's uh, Camtasia as well. Let me just go here for a second, and so you can see here by for PC or for Mac. And um, one other thing is is this uh, screencast. I'll just show you. It's, it's a free um, service and it's not the greatest. You can only do one, one video. And it's, uh, but there's this website here and you have to download a little uh, piece of software, but it works on Windows or Mac. And um, it's got a little, it's got a, it'll have like a screencast-o-matic splash uh, image on your video, but you know, it, it is free. But I highly recommend um, if you can get, you know, one of the some of these um, paid paid ones are quite quite uh, good quality and they don't have the limitations. And also with ScreenFlow, I've been able to take a video that I did and I could I can insert other videos. You can see here that the you know there's multiple layers here and you can edit the audio and do all sorts of effects. So it becomes a video editing program as well. So hope that helps you guys. Just some ideas to uh, edu help educate and uh, improve your, your offerings on your channel. Hope that helps you guys. Talk to you later.